fact. Football players today are bigger. Jeff Cumberland laid out. Faster. He mocked it and he got drilled. And stronger. And incomplete. And Harvin is down and hurts. Which has led researchers to look for answers and solutions on ways they might predict concussions, detect them earlier, and treat them more effectively. And matter of fact, he can't quite make it back to the uh, sidelines, and now he falls and he's down on his back. Enter the impact sensor. Several entrepreneurs are trying to perfect devices that can help quantify blows to the head that can lead to concussions. Among those already on board is Louisiana State University, where players have been wearing impact sensors on their helmets in practice and scrimmages since last summer. You know, this is a sport where, where contact is inherent and that risk of injury is real. We have to minimize it for the sport to grow. At LSU, data from the impact sensors was downloaded after every practice and compiled in a spreadsheet. Head trainer Jack Marucci found that the players sustaining the most blows to the head weren't receivers going over the middle or linebackers making big hits. It was offensive linemen and even their head blows varied. We also looked at, all right, why do some offensive linemen have more hits than the other? Well, maybe some of it's technique. Maybe some of the technique, they had to use their hands more, but the young kids may be lunging with their head. Concussions were down at LSU in 2013. And to Miles, the answer is simple. Use the technology to improve play and minimize injuries. Are there other things you're thinking about changing as a result of what you've learned? Trying to be smarter and even in our contact drills and in our you know, practice habits. We think it's making a difference. We, we've, we've minimized concussions in the last year and we'll set out to do so again this next year. The Brain Sentry Impact Sensor used in practice by LSU and other schools, such as Alabama, is just one of several on the market. By some estimates, more than three million kids play tackle football in the U.S. And untold millions more play lacrosse, soccer, hockey, and participate in other activities that can lead to head injuries. You own this team. You own them. At a high school lacrosse field in Virginia, Coach Wayne Olin has the kids wearing Brain Sentry Impact Sensors on their practice helmets. It measures the direction of a hit to the head as well as its velocity in both force and duration. It's calibrated so that in the most violent hits, a light is triggered. But if the light goes off, that player needs to be examined. And we've had the question from coaches and even, regrettably, from some parents. Wait, wait, wait. If the light goes off, my kid has to come out of the game? So, I mean, sometimes the safety of the player isn't quite as important in places where you think it might be. Olin who is also a consultant for Brain Sentry, imagines a day when every NFL player has an impact sensor on his helmet wired to a laptop on the sidelines, and a doctor monitoring the blows to the head long before players might otherwise be examined. There are about eight to nine leagues around the country uh, that have endorsed this. 26,000 kids are starting to look at it. We have over 4,000 kids wearing them. SEC schools, Alabama and LSU, are using them in practice all the time. At the end of the day, that's really what it's about at this level, is the safety of these kids.